somebody that you once had a connection with is going to come in and career-wise help you get connected. Okay. The karmic won't let divine feminine go because if she does, she's going to deal with the karma from divine feminine's family attack that the car the third party karmics took on. Now this karmic feminine is responsible for all of their karma. So she tried to manipulate divine masculine's energy to get Divine Feminine to take this Masculine's karma because this Masculine was taking the Karmic Feminine's karma. And their mentality is that when you find out somebody do you dirty, that you get your get back. But with Divine Feminine, karma is going to get to you at the right place, <laughs> in the right time. <laughs> okay, manipulation and the wrong side. Yeah. So they thought that Divine Feminine was just like that, but she was brainwashed into being like that because of the original person that was attacking Divine Feminine for her blessings. So you have to respect and honor your parents. So that's the only reason why at first the karmics were able to get, you know, because No. But when it came to the karmics doing it, that's why they were receiving karma because Divine Feminine didn't have that same respect or whatever over 
you know. Divine Feminine didn't care, didn't have that unconditional love for these. Like, Divine Feminine cared, but once realized it was done on purpose, the self-defense, fuck you talking about, for these karmics was non-existent. There was no care given of what, you know. But when Divine Feminine's parent did it, it was a different story because it's like, yeah, no. Mm -hmm. so as long as this karmic has control over divine feminine and divine masculine Because when she did this, her life was, she didn't care about life. But after meeting Divine Feminine and seeing how much Divine Feminine dealt with and still stood up on ten toes every time and fought back or whatever the case, you feel me? Whoa, you know? And like I mentioned, Divine Feminine is not the only one learning from this situation. I mean, you know, they, they feel like they're that all eyes are on Divine Feminine for her to be teaching them something. <laughs> but because the mentality of the area, everybody's really so it's good to mix and mingle with different people because you learn their thought process and <laughs> they learn yours. Bless me. <laughs> so once you cross that finish line is when you celebrate. Until then, don't slow down for nobody. No hitchhikers. <laughs> Get rid of all of that. I'm trying to. <laughs> yep, a big investment. Or, or should I say donation or whatever? Like, no, oh, <laughs> you pay me back monthly like a car note or insurance. Yeah. And it, they mentioned that this masculine. Nah, we ain't gonna speak on that. Final connect. Okay, so this final connect is not an actual connection to a person. It's like you putting your focus on yourself. Oh, 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 I heard that too. Thank you. <laughs> You know, so you focused on these masculines because they played the role of the person that was going to be able to help you get to your dreams and manifestations when you were that person. And had you not got distracted, you would have been there. But because you wanted to help people or connect with people or this was a part of your spiritual, you weren't ready yet for that yet, you know. Or you say you, you want this, then the third, but would you be able to pass this to be able to handle this? So. Yeah. 
And by you focusing on yourself, you're going to find what it is that you were looking for without looking for it. I'm going to bed. I'm going to bed. So while you're connecting with this masculine or you think you're connecting with this masculine, you're telling him everything that you're fantasizing about that you want to do with this masculine. Or if you think that you're talking to God or your ancestors or whoever, you know, they're connecting with you and you're thinking that you're connecting with spirit guides and all things like that. I forgot what I was going to say. But using this masculine... Oh my goodness. Ugh. Oh, that they connect with you as this masculine so that you could basically give them the answers. And then they throw up blockages and slow you down. That's what sounds like that. Have you unprepared? going to be it. <laughs>